up everyone, Daniel Kaiser from Game Trailers here, once again discussing the science of games with Dr. Michio Kaku, and today we're talking about building a lightsaber. Is it even possible? Yes, it's possible. In fact, we even do it in my show, Sci-Fi Science on the Science Channel. First of all, you cannot solidify light. Light is not a solid. But what you can solidify is plasma. Plasma is what the sun is made out of. So you have a long ceramic rod that emits plasma from a plasma torch. Plasma torches use ordinary electricity in order to energize the air to create a plasma that will cut right through almost any object whatsoever. However, there is a problem. A small problem, the power supply. We need a portable power pack capable of energizing a plasma torch. That's difficult. Why don't we have ray guns on the battlefield? Why don't we have flying cars? Why don't we have jet packs? A portable power pack strong enough to create a jet pack, a flying car, a ray gun, or a lightsaber. For that, we need nanotechnology, nano batteries, small batteries that are perhaps thousands of times more powerful than the batteries of today. Unfortunately, they don't yet exist, but we're working on it. So cost-wise, let's say these things were out there, how much would it cost to build a lightsaber? Well, for the TV show, we actually built a crude lightsaber. Uh, it would only cost a few hundred bucks. However, the bottleneck is the battery. I tell you, man, you'd be called the next Thomas Edison if you can create a nano battery capable of energizing ray guns, lightsabers, flying cars, jetpacks. That's been the bottleneck for inventors for the last 50 years. I'm gonna get right on. Let's answer the age old question about lightsabers though that I know every gamer wants to know. Could a lightsaber cut through Superman? No way, it's not possible. First of all, uh, Superman comes from under the star system. Maybe not a red star, but maybe a white star, a white dwarf star. Uh, that's some of the densest material known to science. It's almost indestructible if you're made out of white dwarf material. Bullets will just bounce right off. You could just blast your right, way right through planets. And a lightsaber is only several thousand degrees uh, centigrade. So it would not be enough to go through Superman. So sorry about that. So he's safe, we're out of luck, but it's been a very enlightening conversation. So we need kryptonite instead. We need kryptonite instead. So let's theoretically say you could actually build a lightsaber. Is it even legal in today's society? That's right, because the law is always 50 years behind science, right? Science discovers something and then the judges hear about it decades later. So yes, right now there are no laws against building lightsabers or any of these fantastic devices. But again, they don't exist in working form because of the fundamental problem of portable power pack. Now, you can energize a lightsaber with a nuclear power plant, but then you have to bring a nuclear power plant into a battle with, with, with the, uh, the aliens. So that's a problem. Thanks so much for your time for the latest on Star Wars and all your favorite video games. Head on over to GameTrailers.com.